Florida rental laws outline the rules in the state regarding lease agreements and eviction. We'll overview the laws for standard lease agreements, month-to-month -month lease agreements, and evictions. Standard Lease Agreement A standard lease outlines the terms between a landlord and tenant for the renting of a property. A standard lease in Florida is commonly a one-year fixed period, but for a residential lease to be longer than one year, two witnesses must be present to sign. Month-to-month -month Lease A month-to-month -month lease is an agreement between a landlord and tenant that renews automatically every month. The agreement terminates upon notice by either the landlord or tenant. The notice must be provided by either party a minimum of 15 days prior to termination as required by law. Required Disclosures In Florida, the landlord is required to provide the following disclosures as part of the lease agreement. Identification The landlord must provide the name and address of persons authorized to manage the premises, whether it be the owner themselves or a management company. Fire Buildings over three stories must be notified of any fire protection. Radon Disclosure A specific disclosure outlining the health risks of radon gas must be included. Security Deposit A specific statement outlining the terms of the security deposit. Landlord Access In Florida, the landlord is required to provide at least 12 hours notice before entering the property for repairs or any non-emergency reason. Security Deposit Laws In Florida, there's no maximum amount for security deposits, but as required by law, the landlord must inform the tenant where their deposit is being held within 30 days of payment. If there are no deductions from the tenant's deposit, the money must be returned within 15 days. If there are deductions, the landlord has 30 days to return the money. Eviction Laws There are two legally accepted causes for eviction in Florida. Non-payment of rent if the tenant is late on rent, the landlord can issue a three-day notice to pay or quit. This gives the tenant three days to pay the rent in full, along with any penalties, or vacate the property. If they do neither, the landlord may be forced to seek an eviction from the court. Non-compliance If the tenant breaks any portion of the lease other than late rent, the landlord may give the tenant seven days to either comply with the lease or vacate the property.